Muscle control was a fascinating component of early bodybuilding. I consider it to be very much a lost art as only fragments of these bygone methods are still practiced today. While now you have bodybuilders essentially laser focused on putting on as much muscle as possible without dying, and then getting on stage to perform a handful of predetermined static poses, bronze era physical culture was very different. Apart from the lack of steroids and having access to only the most basic equipment, we cannot overlook the widespread implementation of muscle control among these old school lifters. At this point you might be asking yourself, what the hell is muscle control? Well, essentially we're talking about one's ability to contract and or relax any muscle in the body on command. It might sound simple on the surface, if I told you to flex your biceps and then relax them, I I'm sure you would have no trouble, but now what if I asked you to isolate just one column of your abs? You see, muscle control doesn't just involve tensing up certain parts of the body. A high level practitioner would have had complete mastery of every individual muscle, being able to flex and relax them rapidly at will without involving other muscles. This would allow them to do things which almost seem crazy, as you'll see shortly. It's sadly extremely rare to find any sort of video of old school muscle control, but luckily we do have footage of a short routine performed by Otto Arko from Poland. We can see how effortlessly he moves his shoulder blades into positions you might not have even thought possible. It looks kinda freaky. In my old school Indian bodybuilder video we saw some very impressive abdominal muscle control. I remember being mind blown when I first saw this dude do a vacuum while isolating one column of his abs. We also saw the other guy who could isolate this abdominal tendon on both sides or even just individually on one side. But since I made that video I came across another even freakier photo which wasn't in that book. This is also an Indian muscle control master known as Professor Chandreshakar. And here he's essentially performing a combination of the two previously mentioned moves. So he's holding a vacuum while on the one side isolating a single abdominal tendon and on the other side isolating a single column of his abs. I hope you guys are just as impressed as I am when you see this because for me this is just absolutely inconceivable. Another cool example is Alan Mead, an English bodybuilder. Here he is performing Forming a very deep vacuum, which looks cool but it's nothing we haven't seen before. However, he could do something which I guarantee you've never seen. Sadly here we don't have pictures or video, but we do have this account published in a 1930s edition of Sigmund Klein's magazine. Quote, an English muscle enthusiast wrote me of seeing a posing exhibition by Alan Mead, during which that expert turned his back to the audience and made the muscles alongside the spine move so that they appeared to run up and down, to flex the full length of the erector spinae so that they stand out like two great vertical cables is no trick at all. All you have to do is lean back a bit from the hips and concentrate on hardening the muscles in question. Then they will be impressive or not according to the size to which you have developed them. But this stunt of Mr. Mead is one of the few novel things in the line of muscle control. When I first saw his pictures, I noticed that he had the rare ability to display cross ridges in some of his muscles. Just as though a long muscle was composed of circular cross sections strung together. He can even make his biceps take on a corrugated appearance when flexed. And in many of the photos of his back, the muscles alongside the spine appear as cables with parallel ridges. When you have a row of electric bulbs, you get the effect of motion by momentarily lighting one bulb after another. Apparently that is what Mr. Mead does with his spinal muscles. He must, for instance, flex the lower section right above the hip bones, relax the next section, harden the section next above, and so on. Thus giving the impression that the muscles are moving, although he stands with his back flat and his spine straight. 
and of course after the top section has been contracted he can reverse the process and make the flexed part of the muscles descend rapidly from the shoulder blades to the waistline. Man that just blows my mind. I really wish there was a video of this. Like was he the only person to ever do this or were there others as well? Who knows? If any of you happen to know someone who can perform this sort of move with their spinal erectors, please drop a comment. I would love to see it. Of course, we can't discuss muscle control without mentioning Maxique and Montesaldo. These two created and promoted the Maxalding system of muscle control in the early 1900s. This system is what many Bronze Era bodybuilders used to develop their muscle control skills, including the previously mentioned Alan Mead. But perhaps the most impressive Maxalding pupil was called Billy Ralph. Just take a look at this guy. I have no doubt he would be called a fake natty if he started posting on Instagram today with a good camera and lighting. Billy Ralph was somewhat of a poster child for the Max Alding system, as he appeared in several of their advertisements. While there are claims of him never lifting weights, I would say it's more likely that he used a combination of weight training and muscle control, since Max Seek himself wrote in his book, quote, I do not and have never claimed that by muscle control alone, unaided by mechanical exercise, each muscle may be brought to its highest state of development. But I do claim that mechanical exercise either with or without apparatus will never produce the the limit of strength and development of which the individual is capable unless combined with muscle control. Throughout the silver era we still see some use of muscle control. When we look at footage of John Grimek or Steve Reeves posing, they would do these routines on stage where they're constantly moving and if you look close you can actually see certain muscles almost pulsating as they rapidly flex and relax them. From here on, muscle control pretty much fades into obscurity. Modern bodybuilders still do some dynamic or freestyle posing, but it's usually just a way to flow between poses rather than actually isolating and controlling individual muscles. Bodybuilding posing now is actually quite the opposite of muscle control, because they are essentially expected to be flexing all their muscles all the time while on stage. The only relics of muscle control we still see in bodybuilding are the most basic movements like bouncing the pecs or the abdominal vacuum. And of course, we have the famous quote-unquote mind-muscle connection, which many bodybuilders focus on while training. But the more freaky techniques, like those of Alan Mead and his spinal erector dance, seem to be lost to history. Interestingly, the more advanced abdominal control moves are still used in yoga today. If you look up something called Nauli Kriya, you'll find videos of people isolating single columns of their abs, and even doing this side-to-side -side rolling movement. This is actually an ancient yogic practice, so it does make me wonder how much inspiration Bronze Era muscle control took from yoga. Anyway, that's all for today. If you want to learn more about muscle control, I recommend you head over to my friend Golden Era Bookworm's channel. He has some videos which go much more in depth. And he is actually also going to be teaching muscle control via online coaching, which you can find on his website, goldenerabookworm.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and check out my old school bodybuilding playlist.